Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. So, uh, I normally do the battle box uh, kind of reviews or just looking at what's included in each month in uh, like a Sunday survival and prepping chat, kind of a live chat kind of thing. And, uh, but unfortunately, I recently got a strike against my account because I did a video three years ago on how to install a slide fire stock. So after the Las Vegas shooting and all that, uh, YouTube decided that they were going to give a strike on you know everybody's account who'd done anything to do with slide fire, apparently. I don't know. I've heard several other creators got hit with this as well. Anyway, as a consequence of that, I can no longer do live streams for 90 days from that point. So I'm going to go ahead and do the battle box here now. Um, I'll just start out by saying that uh, this one, it's mission 32. And it's a pretty good one. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Here is the price breakdown and all the items. If you just want to see real quick, then you can look at that. Um, the whole idea behind this box is as a self-defense box. So I'm not going to necessarily... Um, well, I'll try to go. I'll try to go ahead and go in order if I can, if I can find them all in the in the right order the first one is an abkt punch dagger and i think i've got it right here let me see if i can get it out of the box yeah it's kind of a cool little neck knife um it's just just a little neck knife goes it comes with a chain it's got a little kydex style uh sheath for it and then it's just a just a real small kind of something that you could stick in your hand like that, you know, if you needed to in an emergency or something. And it actually fits in your fingers pretty good. Now, you know, I'm not sure how effective it would be as far as forward and backward pressure and that kind of thing. Um, but it is it is fairly heavy duty. It's it's pretty thick, you know, on the uh, on the base there. The blade's fairly thin, and it's not extremely sharp, but, you know, it's kind of cool. I mean, they said the value of this is $9.99, so, you know, it's not a uh, not a high-dollar item. Not really supposed to be. Uh, the next one is Sabre Personal Defense Spray. Um, and this one, this here is uh, Maximum Strength, it says, <laughs> which all of them are kind of, kind of funny. Um... But it's just your basically your saber red, and it's your basic kind of mace or OC spray. And let's see what it says here as far as yeah, it's oleo resin capsicum, and it doesn't say exactly what the percentages are on it. But uh, you know, this this is good stuff to have. You know, uh, a lot of times if females don't like to carry guns, you know, then they'll put some of these in their purse or something along those lines, and you know, that's that's good. Um, it's also a good intermediate or secondary weapon as well. Um, and if you want to have something that is a non-lethal or less lethal uh, type device, so you don't have to use a firearm, then you could go ahead and use pepper spray. And they had the value of that at $10.99. And let's see, the next one is a personal alarm with key ring. And basically this is just a kind of a rape whistle, so to speak. <laughs> you pull this out really annoying and you put it back in and it'll stop so uh, let's see that one is set at uh, 9.99 as well and then the last one in the basic box um, is a Viper Tech stun gun and this is actually pretty cool I actually have one of these uh, that I got a while back for my wife and it has an internal uh, chargeable battery and you can plug it into the wall to charge it and then all you have to do to activate it is you push this forward and then so and it's kind of got a little light you know in there as well but yeah pretty cool little pretty cool little stun gun 
Uh, they definitely don't feel good. <laughs> you don't want to get hit with one of these things. So that's all the stuff in the basic box right there. Okay, so if you can't have a uh, stun gun in your state, then they would include also the U.S. Marine Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat Book and a Tactical Notebook. Okay, so for the advanced box, we have, that's the $50 a month, uh, we have the Readyman Wraith Fixed Blade Belt Knife. So, pull that out. And the whole idea with the way they've got it initially set up anyway is to kind of carry like in the small of your back uh, on a belt and it's basically just a kind of a very basic fixed blade knife. It's got kind of a rubberized handle which you can hold on to pretty good. It's got a little bit of uh, jumping right here, uh, partial serrations on the blade, and then a tanto point. But, as far as a self-defense knife, I mean, you know, you can hold it pretty good in your hand and, you know, it would be somewhat effective. So, that's kind of cool. Um, it doesn't really clip in real great. I mean, it's not going to just come out, but, I mean, it's not going to fall out either like that, but there's not a real positive click on the, on the sheath. But you could actually change the configuration of the sheath. They do have, you know... Uh, holes so that you could change it to go uh, vertically as well if you wanted to. Or, you know, it'd be good for putting on a pack or a plate carrier or something like that too. Okay, uh, the next one is the Battletech Kubaton. And the value of this knife they said was $59.95. And then the Kubaton they said is $29.99. And this is kind of a cool, kind of a cool little Kubaton. It's got like a pin clip on it so that you could hold it uh, in a pocket or something if you wanted to and uh, just kind of be able to to grab it, you know, fairly easily out of your out of your pocket. But, you know, um, I'm not I'm not real familiar with using a, a ringed device like this, um, but just, you know, even just as an impact device or an impact weapon or something like that, it would work, you know, probably just fine. So, anyway, pretty cool little tool. Uh, let's see. Now to the Pro Box is, uh, the first one is the Mantis BK-2A Bottleneck Knife. Um, or, is it Bottleneck Knife? Yeah, Bottleneck Knife. No, that's not it. Here it is. This is kind of a, kind of an interesting interesting one. It's like a bottle opener and you can use it as a bottle opener there and it has a small pocket clip on it and then you basically pop that little lever over to the side it kinda it kinda locks, it'll, it'll lock into place by squeezing it and going back around and you just kinda pop that off and then you can pull these around and lock that back again and then you have this little pocket knife and it's a bottle opener also so kind of a unique shape and design um, yeah I mean if you open a lot of bottles and stuff and that'd be alright I guess okay and let's see here the next one is the bashing gear self-defense belt tool this one I thought was actually pretty cool um, this is a, this is a basically, it's like a, you, you can use it as a, as a bottle opener. Let me make sure you show you that first. You can use it as a, that, that's, you know, going to be fairly effective for that. And then it has a, a little pointed tip on the end. And the idea is, is that you could use it as a set of like brass knuckles, you know. And it does fit pretty good in your hand. And then the way that they have it uh, designed is you could carry that just right there, you know, on the on the front of your belt or on the side of your belt or whatever the case may be. So you could access it fairly quickly and easily um, and be able to use it, you know, in a fight or something like that if you need to. So I actually think that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure how often I would personally carry it, but if I was going someplace where I was expecting to have a fist fight, then it might be worth it. 
Okay, uh, the next one is the Pro Plus, and it's the knife of the month. And I guess they say this is a $120 value. It's the Battletech Double Lock Karambit. So, pull this bad boy out. This is, again, another pretty cool item. I'll give you a look at it while it's closed. You know, one of the problems that I've found with uh, with these knives, these kind of karambit style knives, is it's difficult to find one that actually fits well in your hand. You know, yeah, that actually, when you when you put your hand around it, and, and if you were, you know, to get a good grip on it or whatever, uh, either way, either way you wanted to use it, it's, it's hard to find them where they actually feel good. This one actually feels pretty good in your hand. So that's the one thing I could say about this is it's thin enough that it actually lets you get a good fist. Um, and again, I'm not trained in, in how to use these effectively, but uh, you know, just, just your basic you know, knife slashes and stuff like that, it's gonna be good and it's gonna be easy to retain it because of that little ring on the end. Um, it does have a, it's a lock back and it does have a safety position, kind of, I don't know if you can see that there, on here, and so that it won't open, you know, unintentionally. You have to slide that back in order to be able to open it. And then the same thing goes, you have to slide that back in position to be able to close it as well. So kind of cool. Um, it's fairly sharp, but not extraordinarily sharp. But I tell you what, man, something like this is going to really, you know, <laughs> it's going to tear somebody up. You know, you hit somebody with a right right hook or something or right cross. Oof. Anyway, pretty cool knife. So that is all of it for this month on uh, the Battle Box Mission 32 self-defense box. All in all, I'd say it's, it's, it's probably a pretty good value. Um, there's some pretty cool things in there. Um... Like I always say with these subscription boxes, to me there's there's really two two ways that somebody should use them. One is if you just have extra income and you know you're gonna spend money on gear anyway and you kinda like the idea of getting a surprise each month in the mail and opening it up and seeing what it is and all that. Um, you can afford it basically and it's just something to do. This is not the greatest thing in the world to build your preps up. I don't, I don't really recommend it for that purpose because you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know if it's something that you need and, you know, it's, it's kind of a hit and miss deal. Um, the other way I could say that you could use it is if you're looking through the past months, if you go to battlebox.com and you look through the past months and it's, it's a got a box of stuff in it that you really want. You know, it has a box that has a bunch of crap in it that you're like, oh man, I, I really need all that stuff. Then you can, they'll let you go back and buy that. Uh, after the fact. I guess it's a little bit more expensive, but you can still get it. So, you know, using it that way would be cool too. But anyway, I would love to hear what uh, box, subscription box, have you guys seen that you think is, uh, you know, as good as Battle Box or uh, comparable to them? I would be curious to see because I know there's a ton of them out there now and I'm just kind of curious as to what everybody thinks is the best. So you can stick that in the comments below. Also, if you guys use Amazon, I would really appreciate it if you would go to the link in the description of the video. That'll take you to Amazon, and whatever you buy there, uh, it won't cost you anything more to use that link, but it'll help out the channel a whole bunch. Thank you very much for those people who have been using it. It definitely is making a big difference, and it definitely has helped out a lot. Um, also, I always appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.